Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Room, and welcome back to Foss Optrum. Previously, we explored fervor of the house, until we ended up in some weird puzzle world. There... this is one of those puzzles where everything moves in relation to you, and then if you get hurt, you go back, see? So one step, they move. Wait, nope! It's not one of those puzzles! Back out! It's just a navigate through them puzzle. A very easy one. <laughs> so they only move so many steps. But they, they don't have a set pattern. They, they kind of do move towards you. Memo. 30th of November, snow come down hard and cover the tracks. By running out of materials, this is getting quite alarming. The rats are getting greedy. They hunger for me. That one cheated. That one moved out of sync. That was a big lie. Okay. Keep moving. There we're in. With paper and ink. Make a record? Hell yeah. Well, let me turn off this copyrighted music. I cannot turn off the music. Dang. The mayor's eyes will be staying the night. Must lock the door. Interesting. Well-worn and dusty journal sits on the table. I found a pencil between two of the pages. A bullet point list starts at the top, but stains have covered a lot of words. The first couple of lines are crossed out for some reason. List. Public hospital blood supply is running low. Opportunity to lure back customers. Emma Wolf, 7 pence. Hilde. Hilda, rather, 10 pence. Error symbol. Summed on. Kidney and liver. Conrad, discard. Adler, other than, other than heart? Cornea, are you harvesting people? I mean, that's kind of obvious. Um, that one is, there's like no intention of what understanding that name is. Margaret, oh no. No, Dodge! Seriously. Flowers who bloomed at her side. Confess to her for me. Give her my wishes. Tell her she is lovely. And that night and day my heart. Pines for love of her. Reveal to her soul the secret of my flame. Let it breathe out with you, sweetest fragrances. Speak for me. May she be acquainted with the passion she has roused, and which my troubled heart has not breathed a word. The Flower Song. Where am I? I'm highly suspecting there's some kind of parallel thing with this world and the story and our actual selves. That's what I'm kind of leaning towards right now. What are you doing here? Elizabeth bent down, but the cat didn't run away as she expected it to. Ah, oh, yes. Is it for you, she said. She took out the bracelet from her pocket, wiped off the dust on the bell, and gently put it on the cat. Meow. Something's here. Key with a label. A key in front of the bed labeled Data Room. Data room? I just don't have to deal with that music anymore. Hmm. Piano playing this time. This room, maybe? No.
Let's go down this way then. Check here. Music stopped. No! Not that song. Stop it. Stop it now. Oh no. Whoa! He actually scared Elizabeth when he jumped up. Oh, I see why the music is playing again. Because the three little pigs are hiding. Uh, let me see... Kitchen, pool, dining room, living room, library, and sitting room. Maybe one of the two right, top right rooms. Um, Hell is also down there, going by the crossed out thing. That's relatively normal. Uh, every house has a hell room. Um, you may know it as the, the guest room or the living room. Um, hell room is a place where you don't go. You just go there occasionally to uh, visit, say hello, and then please get out of my house. Sometimes involving some throwing of chairs. That's the hell room. Every house has one. Cleaning apartments. Look it up. It's real. Ah! Didn't see it because I was a little dark. A piece of yellow mail in an envelope with quite neat and an orderly handwriting on it. Mr. Valentin, how are you? My apologies for the fact that I'm the one responding on Margaret's behalf for such a long period of time. There are simply too many things to be handled here, and the situation has only become stable recently. It's now the most charming season, springtime. The snow has melted and the temperature has risen back up to a more tolerable range. Yes, thank you for explaining to me the, the meaning of spring. Thank you. Dr. Wagner disappeared into the blizzard. I trust that you've read about it in the papers. We still haven't given up hope on waiting, and hope that you'll also pray for her return. But please don't worry. The person that we mentioned to you in the previous letters is here. The situation here is quite good as of now. So is Margaret. So please be at ease. Please don't try to find us. Margaret doesn't wish to see you. The weather of early spring is still quite erratic, so please take care of yourself. D.B. Seabull. I'm kind, of, I'm kind of a mixture of liking and disliking this game sometimes, just how verbose it is. Oh, uh, Umbrella. Okay. It's it's definitely it's definitely inching into the visual novel level a lot. It, it's straddling that border very close. The cat tried to use its front paws to reach into the bottomless space, but its paws didn't fit. That's adorable. Meow, meow, meow. Paper scraps of crayon drawings on them were stacked upon the table. And when I say visual novel, I, I don't mean the dialogues between the demon and the main characters or anything. I mean the diary pages like this. The Bluebird of Happiness. There was a kind Reverend Sister duo in an unfortunate family. After an unfortunate Christmas on a sad evening, the witch told him that there was a blue bird in a faraway kingdom that bring them happiness. Thus, they took of them their burdens and set foot on their journey, leaving the unfortunate family. How to create a golem. Most believe that the creating a golem starts by creating a human shape out of clay and writing the Hebrew word imif, truth on its forehead. The golem will wake and start to move and return to the dust if the word on its head is changed to meph, death. I'm not even sure if I said that correctly. Interpretation of dreams. Freud populated that nightmares are the manifestation of one's desires, but that these desires materialize on multiple levels and sometimes even take form in an opposite direction. However, no one would agree that the only function of dreams is to fulfill desires. Does someone dreaming of being chased by a killer secretly wish to be murdered? Freud would say yes, because all dreams exist to fulfill desires. 
Homunculus is literally translated as little person. From Latin, indicates a life form that was created artificially. The oh man. I know all these things. From anime. Different methods of creation are known in direct records, such as mixing Cuban blood and dough in a mercury flask and refining it for a month. Maintaining as a constant temperature of a horse's womb, the mass of matter would slowly form into blood vessels and nerves. And we made a horrible mistake. We got too greedy. We tried to look behind the gate. And then we paid the price. I lost my sight and my brother lost his limbs. Our names are not the Full Metal. We are just random people. This is not a Full Metal Alchemist reference. Stop faking that. It's a Full Metal Alchemist reference. The handwriting was smudged from humidity and was difficult to make out. I cleaned the house. I wiped on everything quite cleanly. No matter whether it was the furniture, walls, railing, carpet, that axe. You mean a chop chop pull. It was a pity, but I also threw away my most beloved bracelet. Although I had washed it multiple times, I still felt that it was unclean. I actually hadn't verified the significance of Margaret's name appearing in that register of names. Perhaps it wasn't as I thought, but the me at that time was unable to think properly. I knew that it wasn't my fault. It'd be fine if I just told everyone the truth. Someone would have naturally come by to pick to pick this place up. But what about Margaret? Did she know yet to still sponsor this business? Was she helping the doctor? Would she be taken away? I couldn't say a word when I thought of this. I told that person my thoughts. Please think of something I pleaded with him. I'm wondering if the cat's even a cat. It's just symbolism for an actual person. A symbolic cat. A painting locked to the wall. No cat. Diary? Something like a safety deposit box opened. And the exquisite key made in the shape of a sun fell out. So this would go to the sun room. I imagine. So... A key with a sun. There's a sun on the right. So the place I suspected was the place we have to go to is, well, probably the place we have to go to. They call it the sun room. What do they call it the sun room? Because the guy who made it is called Sunny. Oh. Oh. This place is just weird. This place sucks. It was raining despite the presence of a roof. That's the gal, the rain. Put on the umbrella. Use the umbrella. Nice. I'm just gonna like, walk like this from now on. You look very dainty. Look how dainty I look. That's nice. I have no idea what this means. Okay, so first you start off at PETA, because they love nature, and then you go and hang out with the hippies, because they love flowers, okay? So you, after you leave Slab City, you gotta go hang out at Burning Man, and that, that place is like a loser fest, so you leave Burning Man, and you go over and hang out with the Moon and Knights, and the Moon and Knights are not actually the Moon and Knights from Aqua Teen Hunger Force, they're just a bunch of people who really like the moon, and are hippies also. There's a lot of hippies in this area, apparently. So you go north, you give a handshake to the squiggly fish. And the squiggly fish gives you a handshake back. Says you got one the wrong way, buddy. Go back that way. So you go and then you go into jail. But you gotta get out of jail free card from the squiggly fish. So you're out of jail. You pick the rose and you confront the beast at his castle. And you're like, stop it, and you slap him on the face with it. And that's what this map is trying to tell us to do for the rest of this game. Quote me on this. Just watch, that's what's gonna happen. This is an outline of the rest of this game. Hey, I thought it was funny. You don't have to do that mannequin thing. Come on. Construction notice. Nursing home operations are halted as of today. This building is being re re-registered as a residence. 
Our employees were dismissed effective immediately. The caretaker's room on the third floor will be preserved. However, the doctor's lounge will be demolished. All medicine will be destroyed within the week. The wards on the first floor will be renovated into a library. The children's room will be moved to the second floor, and the basement is to be sealed off. Construction workers are allowed access until the end of the month. Items note, fix a crack in the wall in the left corridor on the first floor. Clean the drainage hole in the bathroom, check the pink carpet on the third floor. Um, okay. Where am I? Whoops. Yes, make a record. You know, I haven't looked at that till now. I thought it was like a normal match. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Let's go investigate a few more things. We'll be back here. So dainty. Reach the candle holder to light it. Ah, that's tricky. The carpet ate up the sound of Elizabeth's footsteps. It was so quiet that the one wasn't even sure if time was really flowing. The light spilled into the room from behind and was then reflected back. Dang, Nemet. She turned and for a split second thought she was staring at a mirror. It's dainty, me. Damn, you're really dainty. The person's back was facing the candle light, and the face was ensconced in a large hat brim. But she could still clearly see that the lifeless face would look exactly like hers, a starkly white reflection on the glass. Damn, dainty me. You sure are dainty. The only difference was that the other had no expression. Get out. Huh? What are you doing here? Get out. There was no tonal inflections as the person drifted past in the dark. She was caught by the cold, hard gaze, and, for reasons unknown, couldn't even get a word out. She didn't know why, but something was pressing down on her so hard that she could barely breathe. Social awkwardness. The gray and blue figure suddenly turned. Soundless footsteps padded out of the room, as if she person had never seen Elizabeth before. Dang. There was a keyhole above the mirror frame and an almost open eye engraved on top of the keyhole. Hmm. No. Do I still have an eye? No, I don't. Maybe this. Go get it, Mr. Meowsers. Oh, wow. Right hand. In a clock, maybe? Cracks that appeared on the wall. Heck it with the hand axe? I mean the chop chop pole? Go in. Sure? I don't like this place, Mr. Meowsers. Beware of the deep hole. Not yet. Hmm, maybe the key. No. No. Let's go, Mr. Meowsers. 
This place is kind of spooks. Oh no! Well, they remove a photograph. Has you in it, don't they? No, no, no. That's the frame of like my wolf. Pig's tail poked out. Ah! He stirred up clouds of dust as he ran out with a panic yell. Get out of here. Get out. Okay, so let's go. Bird and a wall. Blue feather fell into the floor. It's an empty book. We're gonna need to make a pen later. Interesting. A rosebud that is yet to bloom. What's this thing up here? This one looks a little different than the others. Planted. It was a hand made of clay. It was clutching something, but I'm gonna be removed. Right hand? No! Clay made hand. Was that a bad thing? Only pulp red paint was left. And the pot perhaps it could still be used. Hello? Chapter 2. The Blue Bird. Makes sense, we saw one up in one North area. Thank goodness, it looks like a man. Elizabeth fawned as she gazed upon him. As if disturbed by the footsteps, the crumbled figure wrinkled his brow and slowly opened his eyes. Who? He suddenly sprang up. He stared fixedly into the distance with bloodshot eyes, a dark flush slowly suffusing the wan pallor of his face. Damn it! What am I doing here? The figure abruptly looked at her as she was debating whether or not to speak up. Uh, who are you? This isn't a place for children. Her eyes burned with sleepless and stared at her. Well, who are you? Although his starch uniform was damp from the rain, he merely brushed out his trousers absentmindedly and suddenly stood up. Damn it. Where is she? Oh, my head. I remember. It was in this direction. His excited murmuring stood out in stark contrast to his pinched face as he patted Elizabeth's head. Sorry, I'm in a rush. Hurry back home, alright? He ran off without looking back. New character. Boom. Hey, look, item. A key. I've been dropped by that person just now. The forgotten key. Hey, you forgot this. Forgotten key. Yeah, there's a slot in the bottom, see? That's what I'm wondering. Hole. There was that one room. Where's the, where the dark hole? We'll come back to that. Let's explore. Locked. Is there a weird shadow here? Like, does anyone else see this? Am I just seeing things? Do the birds attack? Twelve nine turns are needed. First to the right. Turns to, turns to the right decrease by one each time. Turns to the left are always preceded by multiple turns to the right until the final left turn. Three total turns to the left. That was Operation Midnight. Oh, I see. It's a it's a clock hand. Get it? Hey, it's the person. The road ends here. There's a pond with logs floating on it below. Hey, it's Frogger! First to the right. Right turn. I'm told nine turns are needed. That's one. Turns to the right decrease by one each time. Three total turns to the left. Turns to the left are always preceded by multiple turns to the right until the final left turn. Oh god, we're gonna do some math. So there's nine total turns, okay? And you start with the right turn. It always starts with a right turn. 
turns to the left are always proceeded by multiple turns to the right until the final left turn. So it ends on a left turn. So nine, that's one. And the final is left, that's another. So we're down to seven turns that we have to figure out. So basically from this, you can, um, so we have to assume that eight and seven are right turns. That's, that has to be a thing. So then before that, it would be left. And let's check out the left one over here. This gave us a hint right here. There's a total of three turns to the left. So we have one down. So we have two more available. We took two right turns off. Uh, and let's see. It is always mul multiple turns to the right. So, so if I did, if I had a drawing right now, this would be pretty easy. In fact, I'm going to do that. So that means the, the final turn just before the left one is one right. So actually with that knowledge, this is actually pretty easy. So going from reverse, it would be left, then right, then left, then two rights, and then a left. That's three lefts right there, and then three rights. Simple. So we've only done one right, so never right turn. Never right turn, a left turn, two right turns, a left turn, a right turn, and left turn. Oh, this wrong. There we go. They had opened something that looked like a bird's wing was placed in the center of the palm. You have the wing key. It's gonna be a wing taken from the body of a bird. Just wing it. I was operation midnight, so we probably have to change the time in the uh, the main room. So curiosity, we do have a couple of keys here. Okay. So we gotta change the time in the main room to midnight. Not the main room, but the one of the rooms in the, in the main house. Um, let's see if I can give this bird this wing real quick. No, that bear is firmly blocking us. All right, back to the house. Where of the deep hole. Let us go to the abyss. Become one of the dark. What is that? Enormous statue of made of clay. You can run out of your hand. Oh god. A good man as dark as yearning is still aware of virtue's ways. Oh! That's a death. Surprisingly, I didn't take anything from me. Okay. You gotta like help me guide me to like the right way, right? You go down. Then you go right. Then you go up. I am not gonna be able to remember any of this. Ho 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 ho. Oh no. This is really hard for me to keep track of. Oh no. Oh no! Do I get? A, I, do, I do get another golem. Wow! The fact that I, nope, we're dead. Die. I am gonna need like a right down the amount of steps this thing makes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, 
No, there's no way I can count steps the way the way it works. I just have to kind of wing it by memory. Or write down a map. Goes right a little bit, and then goes up. It goes all the way up. Goes a little bit, almost to the end, and then goes down and to the right. I mean, there's no drawback to falling. We, we can just kind of brute force it based slightly on memory. Oh boy, this could be here a while. Okay. Right about here. Goes all the way up. Whoa, wow, this is my first try. Two steps away. Good. Good memory. Secret base. Cat and Elizabeth not allowed. You're implying I understand this. You'd be a fool to think so. Route was blocked. More matches. Damn, there's a lot of matches down there. And chocolate. Where am I? This is the basement. They mentioned the basement in the hospital. But I mean like... Where am I in more of a metaphorical sense? Valve. Horsing around strictly prohibited. They arrived in a world of needles and pills. There was nothing here, just a shadow of the bird flying away. We can only move forward with the empty bird cage. Before I go touching everything willy nilly and put myself into a bad end, let's explore the area. So dead ends here. Oh, we never saw this. What? Hey. Oh no. There's a song playing one way. It's never oldie. Yeah, I can be able to hear it, but anyway. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no. Wait, I'm not finding the right way? No, it's an X. They're clearly marked. I mean, I see the X's. That's a dead end. Is this the exit over here? No. Where's my cap, by the way? Clover in the way. Now I've completely cloned this section of the maze, so it ain't the exit ain't here. Oh, I'm watching my bluebird. That's what the song lyrics are. It's walking away. You won't be hearing this because I'll be muted, but just saying. Not here. Oh boy. Blue feather fell on the floor. Is 
Something's happening. Is this a dream? It's a calm day today. The flower I planned last season has bloomed. It's very pretty. And I see love right into my brother. I hope my brother understands that he really doesn't need to worry, for I am well here. I know he will understand if I tell him properly. It's the lower right area. What did I gain by coming here? Cat? Where are you, cat? Cat! No, cat gone. Keyhole on my keys work. This is different. Hi. You again. Why are you still here? It was a young man with a wan complexion. However, he turned away before Elizabeth had a chance to respond. She wanted to call out to him, but she was stalled when he suddenly swung back. Are you? Oh, right. Have you seen a young lady around here? Around this height? He drew a line with the side of his palm. His expression was so serious that Elizabeth was a little too frightened to answer truthfully. She was kidnapped here. She's such a good girl that she would never have run off by herself. So she must have been kidnapped here. Have you seen her? No. Alright then, stay here and don't wander off. Goodbye. Elizabeth didn't even have time to shake her head. Having spoken his mind, he turned on his heel, murmuring, Oh my head, as he disappeared around the corner. Oh, Jiminy Crickets. Wine cellar, please do not disturb. Only bring gold! Golem. That was an angry golem. Really? 